Hey guys, welcome to another Cartoon Cyborg Streamcast. It's your it's your faithful host, youtube.com slash jpinta5, right here, uh, here for you to, to say some shit, to, to describe some shit. So this is this thumb face guy I made for, for this scene that that is after the sandwich scene. So basically in this scene I'm I'm planning on having around 12 characters all animated together in a span of 7 seconds on 2s and 3s fully animated. Uh, so in this I started out with the thumb face guy and I just drew two frames. One frame where he was bent forward and one frame where he was bent back. And I just kept on putting a frame in between it so then I'd have a frame that was just in the middle and then I cut those in half and then I cut those in half and then I cut those in half until all the anticipation frames were done and uh, what happens after that is the sandwich lands in the background and everybody applauds so this guy actually is the first character I'm animating in the scene and he is setting the time for when the applause is going to happen basically so when he reacts to the sandwich falling that's when everyone else is also going to react to the sandwich falling so I'll know how long the anticipation frames are supposed to last uh, this next character is an amoeba boy and he is much more difficult character to animate because his body is in segments and all the segments the challenge for that character was that all the segments would be doing different things. So as you see down there, the right hand is spinning uh, backwards and the, the left hand is spinning forwards. And the top right eye is rotating uh, clockwise. The mouth is kind of slowly gaping upward. The hair is flying, kind of just floating up and down. So. I, I guess I started out with two frames with that one. I think. Let me look. Um, I might have. Pretty sure I actually did a lot of straight ahead with this one. I I kind of posed it out every three frames ahead and then in between it. But instead of drawing one frame and having like 15 frames for an in between, I I kind of drew more poses for this one I think because of the fact that there was so much other stuff going on than just a one bend it was like there were two hands spinning and an eye spinning so I wanted it to remain consistent through the in-betweens and there there would be no way to do that without some sort of aspect of straight ahead animation in there so um, the nose there is doing a good thing uh, a good example of squash and stretch there so you can see it's scrunching up on the on that one keyframe and then popping out. Same with the mouth. Um, I, I try to do a lot of squash and stretch to make it more impactful, more animated when things are happening. Um, this character was cool to animate because I I'm terrible at drawing hands, so this character kind of forced me to draw them, and it was it was just a good good little experiment. Uh, last time I asked you guys to ask me some questions, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read some of those questions and answer them. That white kid junior asks, uh, "How long have you had that big old chunky satique? I've had it basically since I started the YouTube channel. So if you watch the first vlog, I think you see me buying that satique basically. So that's about." how long I've had it. I don't know when that is. Maybe that's two years, maybe that's three years. Uh, let's see, what, what else is my ass? Uh, have I been doing any animation work outside YouTube? In my absence, asks Jasperi Wirtanen. And no, I, I just do shit for myself. Um, I stopped working for other people a while ago and I probably won't ever work for other people again. So if, if YouTube catches on for me, great, but I'm happy animating doing what I want to do. Who taught you how to animation? Nizopuchulayului asks, and I taught me to animation. The internet taught me to animation. 
Um, I used to go to a website called joinedartists.org and that gave me a lot of help back in the day. And it was just a, it was just, it was basically just an old forum that I'd go to and and post my work and people would critique it. So that that is like who taught me how to animation. Uh, can I sleep on your couch? No. Holy house of air. Will you be able to do a tutorial on how to animate? Asks DJ Soul. Uh, that's kind of what I'm doing here. Hopefully I'll be able to elaborate a little bit more here. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do that. Where did the idea for Gord come from? You know what? Maybe I'll answer that one next time. Looks like I'm running out of time. Maybe I'll say something. Maybe I won't. Sounds like the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening. Dick butt. Listening.